going out. Honing out the scratches on the valve surface, stem surface. Yep. Making it true and straight and smooth. This is the only thing you want to do on the outside. Of if I make any money or not doing them. Screw up. Did you get that? Some mm. reason she moved in on this. That's the old driven there, too. Or just to throw them in the damn motor and not actually do any work, so it only has to live through the summer. How much longer is that? <laughs> Why do you do that? Center it. You got three ball bearings in there, you just try to make sure there's no grit or anything under it. Don't do that. I always do that to double check, make sure that's not me.
Stone's getting loaded up. Here, not grinding very well. Splinter that got me, it's a knife here. It's a it nailed me. Dad's gonna get pissed off I cut his machine. I think he's drawing blood already. Oh, so didn't catch that last time they were here? No, they didn't catch that one. It's a good thing I would have got fined. I think it sliced me good. I've had that problem before, I just never did anything about it. I won't do that again. Which one makes more horsepower? See a difference? Larger uh, grind surface, right? I cut the corner away so the air will flow around the valve instead. Of... Right here, the air comes out, hits that, and has to go out. Whereas the other one is this one's nice and rounded, so it curves. Well, the other one has to go out, then go down because it's a sharp edge. Oh, gotcha. It's called back cutting. So you cut that in there to make it flow better. Is that, I was going to say, is that a double angle or something? It's called a back cut. Back cut. Sometimes I do a couple back cuts. <laughs> Change the angle of the machine, right? That's no longer. Yeah. No, you don't change the angle. No, it's no longer. Yeah, it's no longer this back cut angle is at 30. I vary that number two depending on the valve. Stock type valves, 30 works good.
just in dad's way of doing it back in the early 80s and my way that I do it now. You put your finger on you can tell the difference. So what's the difference? Big time angle difference. Just a little tiny contact surface. Smaller contact surface on this head, larger contact surface right there. Nope, that's not the difference. That's not the difference. It's not a contact surface anymore. Okay, I feel that. The difference is this is done with stones, so you have only certain angles that you got in here. This one here is done with modern cutters that have radiuses on it, so it's nice and even as you come with the air flows around it. It's just like the valve, it's nice and rounded. This one here is more boxy square. It's still pretty good. If you run your finger across, it's pretty nice. It's just this one's a little bit better. So go side to side and tell you, you gotta go up like the air comes out. Yeah, I felt it whenever I was doing That's it up difference. and down. It's kind of a U-shaped seat. That's the difference in how you do it. Nope, seats are still flat. Lapping tool. One of those things. Mm, numbers. Yeah, shitty ass balls. I can't use my lapping tool, so I gotta lap it like this. Cool. I think we should know those better now. No, it's, that'd be like work. Close enough. The lab came in at way on the inside, so I can move my cutter out a little bit. Cutter so this is our uh, multiple angle cutter. Not too many angles, a lot of radiuses. And we slide it out a little bit. And go cut the other one. See. See how much better that cut? Cut a little softer than the other one. A lot easier. This is a stock seat. This one here is a hardened seat. Big difference. This will have to grind to get a smooth finish out of it. It's hard to cut the stuff. Actually, cut down. You can see the mark where I leave. Have a reference line, and there I go too. Into the aluminum. Nope. Mark right there in the seat. A the flat spot comes in. Special made cutter. It's actually a little flat spot right here on the tip, and that's what leaves that little angle up there. Not one angle. See, that's not an even angle. It's a radius. That's why it's smooth. You have to put the camera to see. Probably a blur, too, I bet. You can even see that it. That was. Yeah, see, you're not filming everything. You're just watching what I tell you, not filming. See, I talk with my hands. Follow the fingers, you can see what's happening.
seat is the gray, gray area of the seat. And see how we came out more to the outside of the valve where it belongs, but not quite all the way. And you see how the valve's not concentric, that's why it goes thick and thin as it goes around the circle. And that's how it's supposed to look. And this one over here, I looked that way. This one's going to be really hard to cut, so I'm going to grind it. different pilots. Jeez, almost maxed out. This is, dad's big, this is his biggest pilot. Maxed out. This is the stuff that dad did at Moon back in the old days. Oh. appropriate size stone. That's at 45 degree. That's just right at the edge of the diamond we used. Let's use the next one. Yeah, I'm not sure which one's going to work. I'll try the gray one first. Out here where the outside edge is, so get up in a big groove in the head, we use a smaller stone. not even. That stone was used for something else. Screw that up a little bit. Maybe it's 55 degrees, not 45 degrees. Oops. Yeah, 55, 45. Yeah, it's just a little bit. I use this one over here that's 45 degrees. Just put another, we just put an inner grind on it. We just back cut the inside of the throat. That's how I used to do it in the old days anyway. There we go. Get the right stuff with us. See the shiny spot? Mm -hmm. See the chatters on the back side over here. Run it a couple more times, try and get rid of those shatters. Yep. I'm also going to spin this one more time. Make sure that's not the problem. About halfway up. That was a good move. Let's see, this was the front head. Let's keep an F on it. That's the rear head then.
All right. There's a green mark all the way around now. That's a good sign. <clears throat> and our valve's a little bit better looking now. All right, so that's the exhaust. Well, you do the same thing on the intake. All right, we just finished up doing the uh, the intake seats here. So you can see the little mark in there. And the lapping was done. There's our valve face right here. So right on the edge of the valve, high performance motor. This one here has got the hardened seats in it. I had to grind this one again. This is what it's. Uh, Valve looks like so they're both similar how they look so now these two are done so now you go ahead and clean these up and uh, get ready to be a uh, well I can't assemble them yet I got uh, at least one strip stud up under here where well, this one's pulling it this one next to it's probably bad too so I'm gonna have to do a little little stud repair but then I'll be able to assemble these Okay, here's what stripped out rocker studs look like when you pull them out. Here's the other one. And these ones were sticking up when I was milling ahead. I screwed them back in. I figured they're probably bad because even when they're sticking up, they're stripped. When it's the valve job, they definitely were stripped. So I gotta pull these out, clean these up holes, and put heat of coals in them. So I'll do that next. <laughs> 